Are you guys planning a road trip in your Tesla? Well, I've taken tons of road trips in my Tesla Model S since I got it last summer, and I'm here to share you everything that I learned along the way. So let's get into it. Hey peeps, I'm Ashley Renee and welcome to my sustainable travel, lifestyle, and tech YouTube channel. On the weekends, I upload videos about my favorite sustainable brand, Tesla, and on the weekdays, I upload videos about other sustainable travel and lifestyle topics. And also, if you're in the market for a new Tesla, make sure you use our Tesla referral code so that you can get unlimited supercharging for life, you guys. It's a pretty awesome perk of using our referral code. Now for today's Tesla video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 11 Tesla road trip tips. So let's kick it off with number one, planning your route. So there are a couple ways you can do it. You can do it with EV trip planner, or you can do it with the Tesla route planner, which is both online. And you also have the actual Tesla navigation system, which is in the Tesla car itself. Now it's really interesting because when we tried to plan our route to California with EV trip planner, and then we plugged in our destination into the Tesla, it gave us two completely different routes. So what you wanna do is you wanna kind of plan ahead, test it out in the Tesla navigation, beforehand, test it out in the EV trip planner or the Tesla uh, route planner online and figure out which route works best for you. Number two, determine where you're gonna sleep at during your Tesla adventure. Some superchargers are right next to a hotel and some are not. Your final overnight rest location might not be conveniently next to a hotel, so look at nearby hotels or campsites. We slept in our Tesla several times. We slept by superchargers twice on the way to California, and on our way back home to Atlanta, we went to an actual national park to camp out in our Tesla. It was quite the experience. Three, break up your drive into daily trips. So basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is initiate the navigation to see your overall trips, but break it down to where you expect to be by the end of your day. For example, our first overnight stop was planned for Arlington, Texas, but we were so tired and we couldn't make it. So we ended up resting at the supercharger stop before Arlington, Texas, which was Lindell, Texas. Now with that said, don't worry about booking a hotel ahead of time for said reason. I mean, you're not going to want to make too many plans when you're doing a road trip because anything can change just like it did for us in this instance. Number four, buy snacks to last the length of your trip. Not every supercharger was by a nice restaurant. Some were at gas stations and rest stops with only fast food. And just a hint, stay away from the fast foods as much as possible. Like even me being a vegan, we had stopped at a Subway and I got like a vegetable sandwich. I mean, I don't know how you can f up bread and vegetables, but somehow it was not clean and I ended up getting a stomach virus and I was sick for the next two days. It was not pleasant, especially on a road trip. Number five, get your Tesla serviced if necessary. Right before we went on our road trip, we dropped off our Tesla so we could check the tire pressure, tread, alignment, wiper fluid, etc., etc., all that good stuff. You're gonna wanna do all that before you actually go on your road trip. Number six, learn to drive with autopilot, but also make sure you do it cautiously. I'm not saying trust it entirely, right? But it will help a lot if you use it with caution. For us, it made the drive so much easier and quicker than it actually was. You can actually enjoy the driving experience. Drive. Put it on autopilot a little bit. Let it let it do its thing, you know? Hey, no uh, hands. <laughs> Safety look. first, though. You know, you gotta be safe. But guys, I cannot stress this enough. Please be cautious when using enhanced autopilot. Recently, Tesla has been in the news due to a car accident that occurred while a driver was on autopilot. You have to adhere to the warnings and just remember that autopilot is there to assist you, not replace you as a driver. So please, please, please always use autopilot with caution and always be aware. Number seven, come up with something to occupy your time while driving. Whether it's a road trip game, music, stand-up comedy, audio, podcast, whatever. For Carl, it was audiobooks. He liked listening to audiobooks while we were driving, and he would get safely lost in a good book while allowing autopilot to do its job, and it just took the stress away from driving. And for me, I used my phone as a mobile hotspot, and I got some work out the way. Number eight, make sure you stop if you're tired. 
don't be a road warrior. If you're dozing off while in autopilot or not in autopilot, stop and switch or stop and rest. Coffee also helps, but make sure you stay hydrated with water. Nine, let's talk about range anxiety because there are two main things I want you to focus on here. One, get to know the limitations of your Tesla, how much you can and shouldn't push it. Watch part three of our California road trip video to see how we tested the boundaries of our Tesla Model S when our Tesla predicted we'd arrive at a supercharger with less than 10% battery power. <laughs> we are eight minutes away, AKA 3.1 miles away from the Flagstaff Arizona supercharger. And remember when we left, it said that we would get there with 6% battery power. Well, it is now saying 1%. Now we're going 80 miles an hour just to test it. Two, the other thing to remember is that if you're worried about range, slowing down is one of the best ways to help conserve battery power. And regenerative braking also comes in really handy too. For those of you who don't know what that is, regenerative braking basically converts the Tesla's kinetic energy into chemical energy stored in the battery, which increases your range. 10. Let's talk about some road trip essentials. These are the things that you should probably pack in your car when you go on your road trip. I'm just going to give you about five of my road trip essentials and I'm going to put links to all this in the description below. One, a queen sized air bed and pump so you can camp out. Watch part two of our California road trip series to see how we camped out in Joshua Tree National Park. Two, an eco-friendly no wash rinse and a microfiber towel to clean your car once you reach your destination. Three, a mini vacuum to clean up any messes, four, bug wash, windshield wiper fluid, and five, a flat tire repair system for emergencies. 11, last but not least, don't be shy. Get out and meet people at the supercharger stops. All right, Ashley, right? Hi, <laughs> Wow, oh my, that's so crazy. So we just ran into somebody from Atlanta who recognized me from the Tesla YouTube videos. Hi! <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> We're the Smiths, I'm Deborah, and this is my husband, Carlos. Gotta love the Tesla community. This has been awesome, just talking to so many cool Tesla owners um, on this road trip. Swap stories and geek out over Tesla stuff, you already know you have at least one thing in common with other Tesla owners, so start there. We've met so many awesome people on our road trip, some even recognized us from my YouTube channel, which just goes to show you that this Tesla community is pretty tight knit, and I love it. Well, I really hope these tips help you make the most out of your next Tesla road trip. Make sure you leave a comment below letting me know where you're headed on your next road trip. And also if you think I left off any tips that you think I should have included in this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Tesla adventures. Until next time, keep on living an adventurously green life. And I hope to see you at a supercharger somewhere.